What is up? I love basketball TV. It's coach Ryan Rizuki and I'm here today with Dominic. We're going to teach you guys how to jelly layup. Let's get straight to it. One of the first things that you need to learn how to do is turn towards your pinky, which is typically how you're going to see a lot of jelly layups. We're also going to learn how to turn towards the thumb. But for now, we're going to start with that pinky turn. So hand here, just like you're ready to dribble. We're going to turn that pinky and get that ball to start spinning. So just turn and get that ball to spin. You can kind of see that spin. That's perfect. Now, what you're going to try to do is get that ball to that left foot. So you're trying to bring it there and let it spin back. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. That way you can learn how to turn the wrist. Keep going. Go for a few more reps. Boom, boom. Now switch over to the left hand. Boom, yep, same thing. And you want to try to bring it back. So you can see that rotation on the ball just like you would have on the backboard. Perfect. Okay, now let's come here. Next thing is this. We're going to start here, close to the basket, just a little bit over to this left side. What I want you to do is take this right hand, and then you're going to try that same motion where you turn. You can see how my pinky is turning in. Right? So I can get a little bit of spin on the ball. You don't have to go too far on the glass. Just keep it right there nice and easy. A little bit of spin. Perfect. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. One more. Okay. On this last one, do the same thing. Just hold that follow through. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. But you're seeing how the pinky is the one that's turning in towards that nose. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Try some left hand as well. Same thing. Pinky goes towards the nose. That's all right. You got it. Perfect. Two more. Beautiful. Last one. There it is. So Dominic is actually someone who uses this a lot when he fakes his outside hand layup here and the defense bites on this and then he sneaks it underneath with that inside hand. So there is a lot of practical use to being able to jelly layup. You can also turn your body so that way you can protect the ball and use your back, use your shoulders to protect it. Let's say if I was driving like this, I'm driving here and maybe Dom wants to come block this on the other side, right? I can use my body and then I can kind of sneak it in inside. So there are practical or practical uses towards using this jelly layup. Of course, you see a lot of people use it fancy, but there are ways to use it. Of course, Kyrie Irving fakes and kind of comes around and does certain things like that. So let's make it a little tougher here. I'm going to have you come from here. We're going to drive and then bring that ball up, boom, and then sneak it in right there with that jelly. So just come up and over my hands right here. You're going over my hand and then sneak it on that other side. Over. Perfect. That's all right. You got it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. I know stuff. You got it. Come over. Beautiful. One more. You got it. You make one. Come on. We'll go to you make one. You got it. You got it. This is it right here. You're getting better every time. Beautiful. You want to try one of the left? Yeah. Go for it. Beautiful. Uh huh. There it is. So you're seeing, obviously, he's getting through the defense and he's able to sneak it inside. Another one that you're going to see a lot, I want you to come through this baseline. Okay, so I want you to come down the baseline. You're going to kind of fake here and then bring it over with that right hand on the jelly. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is where you're going to see it the most. So, yeah, fake right over my hand. Come over like you're going to finish on this side and then you're just going to jelly on the other side. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Same thing on that side. You got it? Show it. That's all right. A little tougher, right? One more. Last one. You got it. One more. One more. So you can kind of see that fake. Bring it over. Bring it around. Get a little spin on it. Show it. Hey. Almost. And that's all right. Hey, if it needs some work, it needs some work. It's okay. But you're kind of seeing the practicality of how you could use something like this, right? Yeah. So there are different situations when you want to get a little bit of spin on it, want to get a little English on it. Now what we'll do is we're actually going to turn it the other way. So what you're going to do is start here. The easy way is you're going to start with your head under the rim and just come out there and turn. Now we're turning thumb. Does that make sense? We're turning that thumb down. So you get a little bit of spin on the outside, get it to come back into the basket. Yep. Just like that. 
Just go right hand first. Okay. Yep. One, two, three, and then we'll switch. Beautiful. Go the other way. Make sure you get that thumb to flick down. One, you got it. Two, and three. So of course you're gonna see this a lot with reverse layups too. So Dama wants you here on this side and then stretch it over to there. So you're on one side of the basket, just stretch it over. Yep. One. You're okay. Two. One more. One more. You got it. And three. Switch over. Left hand. Get a little spin on it. Beautiful. One. Two. Last one. Three. Perfect. Okay. Now come from here. Same thing. You're going to elevate, bring that ball over my hand, and then finish there. So I want you to drive from there. You're coming over my hand. Yep. And then spin it back. You're going to bring it back over to that right side. Yep. Over, and then, yes, exactly. Over. Yep. Perfect. There's one. Just two, like that. Yep. One more, one more. You got it. It's all right. Two. Go ahead, switch. Beautiful. One. And last one here. This one for sure is something that he does a lot. But regardless, you always want to be able to have that spin on it. So whenever you're attacking the basket for different situations, right? The same time how last, the same way how last time we came here and did our show in the inside jelly, which you see Kyrie do a lot, that inside jelly, you can do the same thing, show and outside and spin that thumb. So give me one coming from that baseline where you show and then bring it over to that thumb with the right hand. Over. Boom, thumb. Show. Perfect. One on this side. Show. Beautiful. So, simple things that you want to do to work on this, right? Number one is just practice that pinky turn. So, for your inside, right, with this one, we can go head under the rim and go pinky, pinky, pinky. Go ahead, start with those ones, right? You can do the same thing with that thumb turn, right? So, let's go pinky first. Beautiful. Back and forth. All right, spin it. Good, other way. So now, what I want you to try to do is get it even further. So get it as far as, yeah, as far out as you can on the glass, just to work on really spinning it. Perfect, just like that. Good, and one on the other side. You got it. Get some rotation on it. Perfect, that was really nice. Now, the way to challenge yourself with the thumb turn is how much you can separate yourself from the basket, right? So how much you can separate from that other side and reach over to it. So you can even start from here. You could jump a little bit or not jump at all. We're really trying to extend that hand as much as you can because you're going to be able to extend it. But if you shoot it up, it's not going to go in. If you can get a little rotation off that glass, it's going to go in. So extend these ones here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Just like that. Well, you got it right there. There it is. Other side. Beautiful. And then to focus on the more game-like application to it, really you're gonna focus the most on being able to go over someone's hands or through someone's hands or protect it, right? Just kind of how we did all these times where we're kind of going up and then after you go up, you can bring it back down. I, would, I really suggest bringing it down to about the chest level and then finishing it. You do see a lot of players who go up and then bring it all the way down, which is okay as situations, but realistically you don't wanna bring it that low. You're gonna see it's gonna kind of come up and stay up there or come up and stay around that chest level. So try not to go up and all the way back down into the jelly. It's not too, too necessary to do that. So that's how you're gonna jelly inside. That's how you're gonna jelly outside. That's how you're gonna add some practicality to it as well. And if you need to practice that turn, you can work on that dribble to kind of get that little turn with that pinky right there. And then for the other direction, of course, you're turning that thumb in. So the more you rotation you can get here or here, it's gonna add more spin to it. And then you wanna challenge yourself to try to get it outside the glass, outside the glass, higher on the glass, lower on the glass, further from the basket, and then see if you can do it with the right hand and the left hand. 
We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program, and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Whoa.